Hi guys, so I'm making this video because I was uh, having an issue with uh, my electric fan not coming on. So in my car, I have a manual fan and I have an electric fan. So my fan was not coming on and I was just going crazy. I bought this module online, replaced this with another one, kept trying my fan, nothing worked, you know. And at that time, I did not have uh, NPA uh, or INPA, uh, whatever it's called. So that's a diagnostic software. I highly recommend you guys get that. It's like 15, 16 bucks um, on eBay. You know, get that. It uh, will make your life much easier. So what I did was um, I tried to activate this fan. So I'll show you guys real quick how I use uh, NPA or INPA. <laughs> so let me go ahead and uh, exit out so I can show you guys exactly where to start from. So. Once you install INPA properly, you just uh, you have to run the .ipo. Um, and let me tell you exactly where you find .ipo. It's under your programs. Uh, once you install this, you're gonna see something like this, and this is your .ipo. Anyway, so I run this, um, and you will probably see something like that, you know. And then you select E46. I have another video, uh, my software was not showing E46 so I had to correct it. Uh, I'll leave it in the link below how you can get E46 if you don't see that option or if you have any other car. So I selected E46, I went to engine and uh, M54 is the one I have. So I just double tap on this. If you get this error just click OK and you get this, you know. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, read error codes, you know. And that's the first thing I did. I read error code, so I do have one error right now, uh, which is the mass airflow, I believe, cooler outlet. I need to look at this. But uh, I had two errors before, and the other one was uh, my E fan, and uh, that error is gone because I cleared the uh, memory. So, uh, anyways, I before I even cleared the error, uh, here's what I did. I went into activate. To F3 to activate, uh, and here you see e blower. So if you go to F3, this will activate your e blower, and you'll get something like this. You know, so over here you can start with 20. Uh, if you put 20, in, your fan will come on slow. I'm not gonna put an LED value because my fan is already running. Um, so I'm just gonna. exit out of from here okay so let me go back to how I troubleshoot uh, and how my fan started to work so what I had to do was uh, once I read my errors um, I was getting an e fan like I mentioned to you over here it was two errors you know I had to go and clear clear it out and as soon as I cleared this guess what my fan kicks kicks on so that tells me that if there is an error in, I think it's DM, DME, they call it, the electronic module, whatever it is inside the car. It sends a signal to your fan, and uh, if there is an error code in your computer, it's not going to trigger the fan. So you can generate an error code, you know, if you run your car without this plugged in, uh, or whatever the case might be, you know, that can, that can cause that. Now, one reminder I'm going to tell you is uh, always come and set your car so you can read this in my case uh, I can't read that gauge because it's bad but I'm at least monitoring my engine heat right from here so your operating temperature is from like you know 93 to 95 or 97 some people report it you know uh, and this is in Celsius Celsius so uh, this is what the NPA decan cable and you can see there's a toggle switch you know it's uh, all the way pushed all the way back I didn't mess with the setting that's how it came uh, So at 94, so I'm gonna, yeah, so my temperature is showing 94 degrees Celsius. That's my kid, distraction. Uh, and here I'm monitoring my thermostat uh, sensor because I wasn't sure if the sensor was good or not. So I connected two probes and I'm monitoring and it starts to drop. So it was around uh, two kilo ohm and right now it's showing it, like, you know, it's uh, 
I think it kind of stabilized around that part uh, because the car is at the operating temperature. Uh, so from two kilo ohm, it dropped down to like 605 ohms, you know. What I know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove uh, remove this and plug the actual connector because I had I had removed this connector from the temperature sensor to make sure like you know I'm connected properly um, and then run the car with the operating temperature and see if the fan will kick in. Um, so that kind of helps me like you no know, troubleshoot you know so if your fan is not working guys make sure you clear the memory because if you're trying to uh, troubleshoot with the memory in the computer or the DME uh, it's not gonna work for you so make sure clear the memory uh, you can force it activate the fan to make sure the fan comes on when you're pushing it from the from the uh, input system and if it is coming on that tells you your fan is good there is nothing wrong with the fan uh, so either you have a bad temperature sensor or like you know it could be you know, one of those things so uh, in my case I had a bad fan um, you know if I had the INPA software before I could have tested it easily um, but you know there is no other way for you to clear uh, that code so. so now I turn my engine on and uh, you'll see the value is going to start increasing when the coolant temperature starts to cool down uh, it went all the way to like 600 ohms you know and now it's uh, increasing little by little you know so you just have to be patient because uh, it takes time for the coolant to dissipate that heat uh, and then as you can see it's uh, slowly increasing so uh, eventually when it's fully cooled down it's probably gonna be around 2k uh, like our initial reading as you can see it's increasing so guys that's pretty much it you know this is how uh, you can test your sensor being or it being on the car and uh, this value was at the operating temperature of the car you know around 95 degrees Celsius so that's how you troubleshoot it so guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you